Hey everyone, in the last video we have seen what is an MCP server and what is MCP client and what is MCP on a whole and we used an example of Playwright MCP as a server and VS Code as a client. In this video, we are going to see how to start an MCP server with a new update, it's very simplified and secondly, we are going to see an interesting demo of applying the LinkedIn job using the Playwright MCP server. So you know how tedious it is to apply a LinkedIn job. You have to go through each screen, copy paste the same values here and there, the same information on each page. To submit 10 or 20 applications in a day, it's gonna take an hour or two for you to do that. Now we are going to use the MCP and basically the AI to apply a job application to fill the forms for us and submit the job. All we have to do is give the prompt and let the AI do the work. Let's see how to do that and how to start the MCP server. Now let's see how to start an MCP server on a VS Code. If you go to extension over here on the VS Code, but basically you have to update the VS Code first, so that's important. Please update the VS Code. Or if you're using the Insider, make sure it's up to date. Insider, as you know, it's the latest VS Code. It may have bugs, but it's not the uh, end product. It's uh, every new update comes to Insider first and then goes to VS Code. I'm using Insider. And if you go to extension with a new update, they have given the option called MCP server uh, installed. So whatever the MCP servers that you have, it is given here. And if you have seen the Playwright demo from their official channel, it is very clear on how to get this uh, MCP servers. To, to start the MCP server, you just have to click the settings and then you can, you can start it. So uh, quickly, I will stop the server and also I will uninstall the server. And uh, right, now that I have uninstalled the MCP server, I'm going to click on browse MCP servers. And that will take me to the MCP servers that I can install. As you can see, VS Code supports, um, as we discussed in the last video, VS Code supports um, so many uh, MCP servers. The one that we are interested for this demo is Playwright. So install Playwright, just click allow. And now you got uh, the install option, just click on install. So once that is installed, you can see the MCP server is enabled here. So if I can go to the extension again, this would be the installed extension and then the recommended underneath that you will have MCP server option. And all you have to do is just right click or click this one and click on start server. So that will start the MCP server. So now the MCP server is running. Okay, earlier, in order to execute the MCP server, we manually installed the MCP server as a dependency, um, something like this. And then we have executed, uh, we have run the MCP server uh, with the command npx run um, MCP server, whatever the MCP server that we want to run. But now that's not the case. You just have to go to the extension you can click on this and start or restart the MCP servers. Now, to let's go to the interesting part. Now we have started the MCP server. How to use this? So if anyone wants to do any web scrapping work, it's very simple. You just come here, uh, go to the MCP servers, browse the MCP servers that VS Code supports and then start the MCP server. It unlocks a lot of uh, potential uh, to this uh, MCP with uh, the copilot that we can see here. Now, let me switch to uh, the the idea of uh, the LinkedIn, right? So we have seen ways of setting up MCP server, that's done. You just go to extension and then uh, uh, the MCP, the extensions, that's the option you have to rely on to install the uh, MCP servers. And second, this is what we are going to try, the, the scenarios. What we're gonna do, let me maximize this. What we're gonna do is, we are going to ask uh, the MCP server to go to the LinkedIn profile. Basically, I'm going to ask the MCP server to go to my LinkedIn profile. And then I'm going to ask uh, the MCP server, the Playwright MCP server to be precise, to go to the jobs tab and apply senior software development uh, in test, the senior as that role in one of the company, any company is fine. And then I have attached my resume in the framework. So if I can take you to the framework, I have attached my resume uh, here. You can see I, my, my resume is here. So I'm gonna ask the playwright to refer the resume. So in order to, in order, in order to post the resume, you just have to uh, drag and drop that to your workspace. And 
to this video you you don't have to worry about any of the files you can just create an empty project and then put your uh, the uh, resume there and then enable the extension and ask the playwright to do whatever you want to do so this was my previous um, uh, content on the video uh, about the playwright mcp server and the playwright framework in itself but you don't have to set up this playwright framework to use the playwright mcp server so that's one thing to uh, not you know worry about how am i gonna set all these files it has nothing to do with this demo so now if i switch to uh, uh the my my ask my resume is there in the workspace and i'm gonna ask the ai to fill the form pick any anything i'm going to leave the choice with the ai let's say when we want to apply the jobs you know we to be honest we apply wherever possible whoever is offering that role we wanted to give the multiple attempt if you apply 10 20 or even 50 jobs we hardly get one or two calls so we don't want to leave any opening jobs for that matter right so in this video i have stringed it to only one job i've constrained it to only one job not more than that so this is the this is the prompt i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna put it uh, to the ai but there are a few things you should know i'm not giving my because it's it's a demo that's going public for all of you i'm not i'm not asking uh, explicitly um calling out my address because when you so when you apply the job you have to give your address right and then your visa status if you have any and then your uh, mobile number i think my mobile number can be found in the resume uh, if not it's fine whatever the ai fills for now but i'm not going to submit this application uh, at the end just just a, a disclaimer and anything that you wanted to call it out you know when you fill the application there are few questions that are consistently asked across all the job applications which are sensitive you just have to declare that here so the mcp server uh, gets that and, and fills it out but if you don't want the ai to be fed with your personal information you can ask the ai to let me know if you come across this information right you don't have to give full access you just have to wait for the ai to pop up the window and ask you to uh, ask you to you know fill it manually and then it can continue from there but the choice is completely up to you but this one we're going to let the ai do everything for us that's the, that's the idea now let's start i'm going to copy this prompt just copy that and then go to the playwright uh, uh the i mean the copilot here so here the agent i'm using is claude sonnet right i have found Claude is much better with Playwright MCP server compared to the GPTs. Uh, by default, you may have the GPT-4, 1 and Claude. You may not see other options uh, because I've subscribed to the VS Code's uh, Copilot. So I'm getting all these options. But you can either subscribe, you can try one month uh, free trial or you can go with the default one like Sonnet, GPT-4.1 uh, and 4.2. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paste this prompt, right? also to make it bit clear i'm going to ask it to use playwright mcp use playwright mcp and yes right so whenever you see playwright mcp server is in it, the or on this pop up over here the widget over here that's how you know that playwright has been picked up or any mcp server for that matter otherwise in my attempt i've been juggling between um the playwright and then the standard way of automation sometimes it gets confused with writing an automation code with the playwright but uh, just called explicitly and claude sonnet does it very well if you choose gpt 4.0 sometimes it doesn't pick it up directly it doesn't consider my for my request player at mcp is the right server that it has to use it doesn't consider that what i'm going to do um i need to log in obviously i'm not going to give my login credential to to an ai at the moment so i will continue okay i will finish login and i will give access to others okay now you can see it's already logged in because 
before this demo, I have tried this. Uh, so it's already logged in. But in this, if in your case, if it's asking for you uh, to log in, just do it manually from your side and then give the rest to the uh, to the MCP server to, to follow it up. Right. And also at some places it will ask you uh, your permission to click certain buttons. You can either give full access to the MCP server for this session or for the whole workspace or you can take control but since it's a job application I don't think it makes sense to click on uh, constantly the widget being asked for your permission rather you allow it for the session for the whole session let the MCP server do the work and then you sit back and watch or you do the other work um, and then come back uh, and see if if you are happy also it's i think it's worth adding a prompt which is maybe uh please wait at the final screen before submitting for this demo but not for maybe after this demo i may not use this uh just for this demo so that i don't have to worry about uh, the air being clicking maybe with some wrong information because I have not fed some sense to informations uh, here. Now, let's see where it is. Okay, it clicked on uh, the job and then, yeah, you can see one um, one over there, the second one, this is senior, senior software development engineer in test. Actually, I missed the word uh, engineer in the prompt, but let's see if it's intelligent enough to uh, pick it up. I just needed one job to be submitted. Even this can be submitted for, for that uh for this demo purpose so with this what i feel is like um you just initiate it you let the ai submit the jobs and then once you submit it once the ai submits the job you just go review uh, the jobs that it was um uh, submitted but uh we, we, you have to review it once the job is fully submitted okay so what it says is uh so what it says is it found few jobs senior software testing engineering test and it listed the top five uh, to me so it's going to click the first job and then apply it for me so that is nothing but uh, this one Sotheby's I think Sotheby's is the uh, auction company um, like uh, Christie's so Sotheby's is looking for senior software engineering test let's see if the MCP server do the job for me so now what we have to do is do we have to keep staring at the screen uh, obviously not we can let it uh, apply that's the whole idea and you do some other job right you do some other job or you you go uh, somewhere go for a walk go get your coffee and then come back and see uh, how far it has been done because it has to read the screen understand where is what and then uh, continue with uh, uh, with the uh, with the, with the with the job application right so now this one is interesting. In, uh, in the previous uh, attempt, I manually intervened and clicked this pop-up. But here, let's see if the, because this is something, it is asking if you want to share your profile. But uh, this time I'm gonna let, let the AI decide uh, on this choice. I don't mind if it's being shared, but I can always go back and uh, um, uh, you know modify it. Uh, I don't know if it handled that pop-up, but that's less of a worry for me at the moment. But it did click the job profile uh, and it it opened the Sotheby's web page to apply the job. This is, it's very tedious, right? In my experience, I opened a lot of uh, companies' website, click on apply, and then do the same routine, you know, copy paste the same information. Let's be honest here. It's the same information. 99% of the time it's the same information it's not it's not unique uh, I mean it's not yeah it's not unique so it, it is actually a painful task of applying applying the job informing the uh, the uh, the recruiters uh, the same information everywhere so now again as you can see it's reading the web page and then it will apply uh, for the job so let's wait for it yeah you could see it filled the name and uh, email ID. Obviously, email ID is not correct and the mobile number is not correct because I did not attach uh, the right email ID and, uh, and the mobile address. If I would have shared that in the prompt, it would have uh, applied that. 
it's clicking on attach uh, it clicked the resume you see that's very interesting it submitted the resume and uh, education and everything it's going to choose from my resume right again uh, the education information is not right because i don't want to keep the right information um it's the it's, it's the dummy information on my resume uh, but the rest are all uh, is um should be should be the right information so make sure uh, if you have to um if you have to uh, modify any of your information and over here at the the prompt copilot has broken the problem sometimes it asks for continue you can also give uh, full access or it will ask for the prompt so some personal questions so if you look at these questions you just have to fetch these questions have you previously worked do you currently work for this company um, which could be no uh, if it's a uh, uh, if it's a different uh, uh, if it's the same company that you're applying for so few prompts that you need to you need to uh, make a choice on i'll stop there um I'll, I'll stop there i'm not going to i'm not going to submit the application i stopped it as you can see it filled the application form for me and i can try uh, different job profiles basically so this is very interesting you don't you don't have to go through uh, all the forms um i mean on your own for each job profile so if I go and try different job profiles, I can ask it to submit like five more jobs in a day or 10 jobs in a day. And then uh, I can come up with the common questions and add it to the prompt. So that's the demo of Playwright MCP filling the job application uh, for us. So that's all for, for today. And next we will see uh, maybe more on the Playwright uh, MCP servers or um, if, you, if you would like to see anything on playwright uh, scripting uh, let me know of any questions uh, let me know uh, let's catch up in the next one